Happy Wednesday. Seven, humility. Not super fond of the textbook definition. Um, there's parts of it that I don't mind, which is like a modest view of one's own importance, uh, which I think is is accurate, actually. That's probably the best, you know, straightforward. I would go, I would say being right-sized and being right-sized in, and we are in the, in the equality of our humanity and our species. And then even just the right-sizedness in the universe I think it's, uh, for me, it has to do with, um, there, one, uh, 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 an offshoot is um, lack of vanity, which I do like that. It's not about hubris. It's not about ego. I mean, the one of the antonyms of humility is pride. So that's the, maybe the antithesis, like being too prideful. But being humble, I don't think it has to be it doesn't, in my perception of the word, doesn't have to do or doesn't need to have to do with groveling by any stretch of the imagination. It's just being right-sized. It's, it's knowing that we are humans in this machine of the universe. We, are, we, have, a right, we have our rightful place in a system that depends upon us and that we depend upon. Um, and among our fellows, nobody's more important than one another. We, we're all the same. Um, so when it comes from this idea, the next step of being willing, willing to change, you know, if you are right-sized and you're, you uncover and discover, um, who you are, what you are, and how you serve, and then you you can you look about your fellows and you see what you want to become. You discover who you want to become. You have the faith that you can achieve this. You have the courage to dig into yourself, to look at self. You have the integrity to walk forward. You have the willingness to take direction from people around you and the humility to follow through, to not cast off someone's direction because you think you're better. <sighs> yeah, it all, you know, humility's got uh, a bad rap, you know? I don't, I don't, on some level, I don't think we're humble enough. I don't think we need to separate ourselves. If we were all right-sized and understood that we are connected emotionally, consciously, the physical is the illusion of the disconnect. I'm not like you, I'm not, I look different than you. I'm not a part of you, see? I have a hand that does not, is not part of your hand. But as, I don't know, my evolution of things as I go inward to find the truth, to listen to the truth of who I am, what I am, how I serve, that then, you know, permeates the exterior. It transitions from inside to outside. If I have the willingness to keep my eyes open and my mind open, and my heart open, like that, and the humility to do that. Open eyes, open heart, open mind, you know? The mind sometimes is the hardest to open because we think we know who and what we're supposed to do all the time. I'm better, no, that's not what I want, but is that what you want? Have you taken the time to go inside to find out who and what you are? Or are you just chasing what advertisers and society and the teachers and your parents and your 
you know, boyfriend or girlfriend or peers are telling you you need to achieve. You need a certain pair of glasses or you need a certain, you know, skirt or shoes or job. And what do you want? I was watching Joseph Campbell last night and follow your bliss. And if you don't know, like, the discovery of what your bliss is, the beauty, what makes your heart scream? When you, you know, when you're alone, what gets you excited in, in your heart? Not in front of other people. Like, oh, that, I just want to look good for them. Like, that, you can't take that with you. Can't take that with you into a room by yourself. If you can't, on some level, validate your own self-worth or depend upon something bigger than you, not another person, to find the validation for who and what you are, you might have a lot of trouble. That's, the, that's what I've combated my, you know, much of my existence, is to do my best to not seek the validation from exterior means. Yeah, I've babbled enough. Happy Wednesday.